Hello, hello, hello. Well, we're back from the prairies. Yes, close to two weeks on the road. It was very nice. I'm still wrapping my mind around the entire time we've been away. It, uh, it was a really good time. We stayed a bunch of days in Bowdoin, Alberta, which is uh, where Linda's daughter lives with the family. And then we headed to Koshin. Koshin Village? Hamlet? I'm not sure what you'd call it. Jackfish Lake, Saskatchewan. About 25 minutes north of North Battleford, where I grew up. Oh, yes, it was a good time. Um, it was my dad's 80th birthday celebration. He did turn 80, I think in January. And uh, my brother and sister were there. And my uh, stepbrothers and sister was there and their families there was just a lot going on a lot of good things going on oh, i enjoyed myself the highways in and out were good we did see two of the uh, wildfires that are happening one was right on the uh, coquihalla almost at the pass and the other one was uh, Three Valley Gap. That is a lot of smoke. Near Revelstoke, those are the two fires that we could actually see. <clears throat> Not good. Anyways, uh, yeah, the, um, the whole event in Saskatchewan it was really nice. I uh, really enjoyed myself. I also got my second COVID-19 vaccination while I was there. And uh, I think my math is correct, August 12th, I can stop wearing a mask if I want while at work. What else can I tell you about the vacation? Not much, we brought Caleb home on the way back, so he's now home. For the rest of the summer and getting ready to go to university it kind of feels odd being at home you go on vacation and there's all this hustle and bustle around you constantly and people and then you finally get home and it's a there's a void <sighs> It's a, a time to reflect on how much I enjoyed it. Got to cruise the old neighborhood a couple times where we all grew up. Me and my step brothers and sisters, we lived directly across the street from one another in North Battleford on good old Gregory Drive. <clears throat> so we toured that neighborhood together. Man, a lot of fond memories. Not a lot of nostalgia as I drove through. But I do remember the times we had. And then of course, went and visited my mom and dad's grave sites and our other stepbrother Paul's um, grave site. Really fun catching up with people. It's really fun meeting everybody's teenage kids. The last time I saw them, they're all little rugrats. Now they're all Teenage Rugrats, that was pretty damn cool. And then meeting new people and becoming fast friends with them. All in all, very, very nice experience. Usually when I go on a long vacation like this and I, uh, we do, like there's a big family meet up and get together, it's, I have a hard time living in the moment. I'm always thinking ahead instead of trying to just be where I am, when I am. I don't know. And then when I get back, like 
now I have a flood of nostalgia and just really fond memories of that vacation and I've this is something I have had ever since I was a little kid. We go on vacation and um, afterwards at home I would get really reflective and emotional about the, the experiences I just went through. I don't see Linda anywhere. This is quite odd. Usually they're parked here. Where's where's my wife? I'm not stopping. Get on the phone and see what's going on. I wonder if they're at a pirate Allison Pond. I don't know. Let's just see what's going on. Well, change of plans. They went to another spot. Higher up along the Chilliwack Lake Road. Well, as usual, gang will leave the camera rolling. Oh, they look at gas. $1.71. Wow. That's crazy expensive. Up there is the bridge over to Agassiz and Harrison Lake area. To the left is the Fraser. The Fraser River, which we will be riding alongside on the other side. So this route takes me from Chilliwack to Hope River Road, which then you turn onto Camp River Road, which takes you here. Then we jump on the bridge and we go across. And we head for the number seven, the Low Heat Highway, which goes the back way to Mission. It's a very nice ride. Very scenic, almost the entire way. That's eastward. That's westward. Fraser River. There's my shot. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Got to use the whole road on this stuff. Not sure if you can see, I'll angle my head that way. Fraser River to your left. Nice twisty bit of road. And uh, now we get into the windy forest section. Uh, yeah, she's beautiful up here. To your left is the Harrison River. Not sure what feeds into it, probably the uh, Fraser. And I'm not sure where it empties. Probably the Fraser, but it's got a very unique green color this time of year. Uh, yeah, so here we are. Um, we're on Straighten Road. Again, an absolutely beautiful road to cycle on, run along motorcycle on look at this 
just a gem. This is the stuff I miss when I'm on the prairies. You know, I went on and on about how I just get kind of homesick when I'm in the prairies. It's not, it's not for the people per se, rarely ever actually. It's for the geography. Look at this. There is nothing like this in the prairies. Nothing. It's absolutely glorious. It's good to be back.